Somebody's gonna work with me. Hey, Connor. I want you to come over here and stand here. Come over here and stand here. Can you stand there for a long time? Okay. Uh, yes, I guess so. Is this where he needs to stand? Or I guess that one more. Can you put those in your pocket? significant union of Midfield Great and Miss Susan to surround them with a prize and to request the Buddha blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened to uh, be about the Buddha and Latin and place. I go to the Dharma, the teachings at my refuge, the Dharma of the Blessed One is perfectly expelled to be seen here and now, not delay in times, inviting ones to come and see, on one leading to Nirvana, to be known by the wise, each for himself. I go to the Sangha, the communities of monks and nuns, as my refuge, the Sangha of the Blessed One's disciples has an entrance on the good way, on the straight ways, and on the proper way. That is to say, the Sangha of the Blessed One's disciples is fit for the gifts, fit for hospitality, fit for offerings, and fit for reverential salutation as the incomparable fuels of merit for the words. May meet Greg and Miss Susan love each other with the purity consistent with the highest human morality and faithfully perform their duties for the benefits of all people. May the newly wed couple maintain by mutual effort a peaceful home blessed with a deep understanding and trust each other. May they be serene, healthy, advanced in God knowledge, rich in happiness and virtue and industrious in their professions. May all beings be blessed with this merit and with us together attend Buddhahood. Homage to fundamental teacher Shakyamuni Buddha. Homage to fundamental teacher Shakyamuni Buddha. Homage to the fundamental teacher Shakyamuni Buddha. Dear Mr. Red and Miss Susan, because we live in a world of both joy and fear, we search for convenience and strength in this sin disorder of things. We discover the truest guidelines to this quest of yours when we realize the love in all its magnitudes. After all, love is a abiding force of life that allows us to face fear and uncertainty in courage. But we need to take good care of love for the giving of oneself in love is not easy. We must learn to give one of our loves without the full submission. Therefore, in your giving, give your joy, your interest, and your understanding, and your knowledge. These are all expressions that make up life. But in this giving, remember to preserve yourself, your eternity, and your individuality. This is the challenge of the kind of loves that is in with the marriage. Marriage is the joint of two people, mind to mind, body to body, and true nature to, to nature. You give up your small self and trust each other, yet, although the marriage symbolizes the imitate sharing of two two lives, this sharing must not diminish, but rather enhance the opportunity for the growth and development of each partner. Marriage represents all the drives and solidity. 
in the form of this choice, which is affirming the dignity, the friendship, and the love which has for the other. As a chance is no stronger than its weakness link. The success of the marriage depends upon the strength of the partners. With love, trust, equality, and continual effort, your marriage will be give confidence to others. This is the way to live in your life. Mr. Brad and Ms. Susan are married because of your, you enjoy each other's companies and because you want to get there. You are married because each of you can grow in humanity and in love more fully while touching the other. You are married because you can be more trusty of life as the life makes. You are married because you understand that with your love comes at overwhelms and deep desire to reduce each other in happy moments and enhance one another's happiness. Please keep this understanding of your marriage fresh and alive in the years ahead. In marriage, two families come together as one family is expanded. Please be joyful in your families. Bring to its appreciation of the beauty of each other. Bring to your families a sense of comfort and strength, a joy of thankfulness for being together. For the unhappy, prospered marriage, the Buddha advised the couple to observe their practice, to respect and cherish each other, to be faithful and to take care of each other, to join all their resources and manage them wisely, to respect and be friendly to each other's friends and relatives, and to show their love by remembrance and gifts. Danny and Susan have asked us to serve as a witnesses to their marriage, a marriage that they themselves make today. Their vows are their own, and they have been spoken in their hearts before they are now spoken before us, their witnesses. Um, Mr. Greg and Ms. Susan, please join your hand with your promise by yourselves to each other as husband and wife. The Buddha, who was enlightened human, told us that until this much joy and happiness to be experienced in life, for the unenlightened it is filled with too much suffering, sadness and unsuffering. He said that their unwanted quality are caused by ignorance, our desire too much, and our attachment to the things we already have. He thought that we could give ourselves li our lives of these undesirable conditions and their causes by simply being tied loving and compassionate toward each other. To help us to do that, we can pledge to follow the far moral conduct that can help us to speak, act, and reasonably live in such a way that our lives are more joyful and happy. An enlightened way of living one's lives in such a manner is not only valuable for you, but valuable for each of us as well. Each guest was given a copy of this visit, and please we ask of you to join Mr. Craig and Mr. Susan in impressing them. <coughs> so please, uh, we can decide together. We vow to protect and encourage each other in life, to be generous to each other and take less than we give, to speak truthfully and happily to each other, to nourish and to keep our bodies and minds healthy and to cheer each other with loving kindness and compassion. Mr. Ray, please express your vows and share it with us. Susan, I want to live with you just as you are. I choose you above all others. To share my life with me, and that is sure evidence that I love you. I want to love you for yourself in the hope that you will become all that you can be. I promise to have and to hold you from this day through all the days to come, for better or for worse, whether we are rich or poor, ill or in good health, and to love and cherish you until death parts us. Miss Susan, please express your vows and share with us. Craig, I want to live with you just as you are. I choose you above all others to share my life with me, and that is sure evidence that I love you. I want to love you for yourself in the hope you will become all that you can be. 
I promise to have and to hold you from this day through all the days to come, for better or for worse, whether we are rich or poor, ill or in good health, and to love and cherish you until death. Okay, so the next part is a change in the rhythms. Um, okay. Yeah, um, let me explain first. Okay, mm -hmm. in Buddhist um, yeah, yeah. principle, um, especially for the newly couples, the rhythm has significant meanings. Um, as we love each other, as we care each other, and as we concern each other, we need to be patient. Because um, with our patience, we could not develop the love, the care, and compassion easily. Especially when we join and live together. We have to be patient with all our, our the partners, with our spouse. So the reason why the Buddha advises us, we have to be patient in every aspect of life so that we can share the love, the care, and the compassion together. So that is the short uh, meanings of having the dream. Um, especially now, this is time for you to extend your dream. Ready? Craig received this ring as a token of our friendship and as a symbol of all we share. I also pledge to you my love and faithfulness forever. Susan received this ring as a token of our friendship and as a symbol of all we share. I also pledge to you my love and faithfulness forever. Thank you. So the next part is the unity candle. Mr. Fred and Miss Susan are continuing to share until they are still two individuals. They, are, they have really given themselves to be one together in marriage. Um, as we are linked together with this unity candle, we offer the Buddha's words on what should be done if we want to attain peace and happiness. Let us be honest and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech, humble and not conceited. Contented and easy to satisfy, not over beauty, but simple livings. Let us be peaceful with sense calms, without perverting and without being carried away by emotion of majorities. Let us refrain from unwise actions. Let us rarely think this thought. Whatever living uh, creatures there may be, whether big or little, strong or weak, seen or unseen, living near or far, whether already born or waiting to be born, may all beings be happy, may all be safe, and may all be filled with joy. Those who wish peace neither desist with another, nor do their harms or wish harm on another living creatures. Just the loving mother shield her child from harm, even her own body, those cultivate boundless love for all living creatures. At all times, those who with peace and happiness radiate loving kindness over the entire cosmos and sustain this recollection, which is the noble way of living. In this way, free from wrong views, greed, and attachment, we who practice powerless love will transcend samsara, the suffering and, and sufferings of life. May you, Mr. Fred and Miss Susan, and each friends and family members now connect by the unity candles and those gender beings connected by the unity candles of life be blessed by the enlightenment through and love. Um, with the bread and Miss Susan, you are now husband and wife according to the wisdom of Buddha and his Sangha. Please become one to fulfill your promise, love and serve each other. Let no one divide. Why they are lighting the unity candles? Um, so you see that now uh, this represents um, in the middle um, candle. So the candle in the middle is represent the unity candles, and it's on the hand of the Buddha. It's to represent his blessing to them. 
So now the next part is the announcement of the marriage. Um, with the blessing of all the families and friends who are present and the authorities best in us by this day, and in the name of the Buddhas, we now pronounce you husband and wife. Uh, with the breath, uh, you may kiss your wives. <laughs> This is a gift from our temples of all of you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that would be important. Just that little 